It's called The Last Adam, and it's a production of I Am Productions. And now I am with Earl Bago, manager of I Am Productions, and you're the, the producer. Yes. You're the head honcho. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with you are two of your actors, actresses, Kersha, Kersha, Kersha Garner and Monique Sipio. Yes. Good morning, Good ladies. Morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. All right, so you're the stars. Head on, show the stars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us about the production. Well, um, The Last Adam, Tell Hell No Part 2, is a spin-off from Tell Hell No Part 1, which took place in the year 2010. Yeah. It took me eight years to write this script and two years to plan for it. Right. So uh, it will be airing at, it will be premiering at Queen's Hall mm -hmm. uh, on April 10th to the 13th. Right. And then at Supper in San Fernando from the on the 18th and the 19th of April. Okay. And what's the whole idea behind the production? Well, it's, bas it's based on the Easter story, but it's being brought across in a different way. Every Easter, we see the same um, biblical shows over and over with the same message. Right. And what we, have, what we have done now, we have incorporated that message into everyday living. Mm -hmm. So what you're coming to see is real life application of the Word of God. So you've made it relevant. Yes. So people can identify yes. with it. Everybody across all sectors could identify is with it. Is it a local story? So is it, it in is. Trinidad and Tobago Palace? It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. Yes, totally. And these are your two characters, two of your characters. Two of my How characters. many people are in the play? About 80. Eight, eight zero? Yes. Wow. Are you the director as well of the play? Assistant director. Oh, 80 people on stage. Yes. That's a massive production. It is a massive production. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, Kersha and Monique, yes. so you all are in the production. Yes. And tell us about your characters. I'll start with you, Kisha. All right. So I am Sylvia. Mm -hmm. I am a 50-year-old woman who <laughs> has gone through so a lot of... So putting some gray inside of there. Yes. 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 And I've reached a place in my life where I have overcome. I've reached a place in my life where I am no longer, yes. um, how to say, like slave to those um, issues of my life. Right. And here it is, I'm now encountering a young woman who's going through that same type of issues. Mm -hmm. And I'm there to kind of be like an anchor and ah. an encouragement to her. Right. Because I have gone through and I'm now able to be that support. Where did you go? What sort of research did you do to prepare for this role? Um, so what I would have done, I spoke to a lot of um, older people within my church and my community, mm -hmm. um, because of course I'm not 50, but just to kind of understand in terms of what they would have done when they would have um, experienced issues like this, mm -hmm. um, just as well as just um, doing some research on different actors mm -hmm. um, to see how they portray, because what, I don't know if you ever saw that movie called War Room, mm -hmm. um, where this older lady, she really was an encouragement to a young woman, and she had to be in a position where she doesn't, she wants to grab her yes, and say, yes. don't do that, yeah. but still has to be very humble, very poised, and very encouraging. So that was yeah. part in terms of yeah. what I would have done to prepare myself. Yeah. And Monique, tell us about your character. Well, I am Giselle. Mm -hmm. I am 23 years old. <laughs> in I real life, and I play. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I play her adopted daughter. Right. Um, much like Sylvia, I too have also been through many traumatic experiences. Um, however, I have not come to that place where I have overcome yet. Mm -hmm. And so the audience gets to see me in that process of mm -hmm. making decisions to try to make a better life for myself. Right. Um, have many questions, battle with these questions, yes. fight. Not necessarily fight, but fight internally with her to answer these questions. Yes. And you don't get to work through that with me, that process on stage. Yeah. So this is a resurrection story, but yes. told through characters yes. of everyday, yes. everyday living. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the spin on, on, on this story will, will really surprise a number of people across all sectors. I mean, this is a story for everyone to come out and yeah. see. And I want to encourage the entire Trinidad and Tobago, whatever you do for Easter 2020, do not miss yes. the last Adam. And this is a soft lunch. I'm glad that you did it here yes. with us on the Now Morning Show. But of course, you're going to be letting people know yes. closer and closer to the date, how they can go up or get in tickets yes. and 
and more information about the production. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And well, how long have you guys been preparing for this production? Mm. So we would have met in July of 2018, wow. um, where we would have just um, organized in terms of doing um, our auditions, mm -hmm. um, being introduced to um, the script. And of course, um, through our creative directors, we would have been organizing in terms of just preparing ourselves, vocal warm ups, making sure that our mm -hmm. bodies are in ready for it. Yeah. And come January here, you know, it's space yeah, until yeah, April. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yes. Yeah, so Every day, I can feet, imagine. Feet, feet, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, get into that character, and then you have to come exactly. out of the character to go into the real world. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Not only so, but I think one of the things that I really appreciate, as Rodney was talking about that real life, um, sometimes even when you meet people, it's like, wait, you're not the person yeah, that was you know. um, on stage and you're able to relate to persons yeah. because it's not just looking at it from a biblical perspective only, but how do you now respond when life happens? Because mm -hmm. life happens to all of us. And it's so us. important to be able to have messages, whether it's visual, yes. whether it's moving pictures, films, and so on, yes. or yes. live production yes. that could impact the lives yes. of people. Yes. Yes. So you're going to impact our viewers right now because <laughs> you have a little skit prepared for us. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. we want to take the... Okay. You were only 20 years old when we met, remember? You tried to commit suicide when you ran out in front of my car. But thank God I pulled away in just the right time. How could I forget? My only wish is that I would have died that day. Don't say that. Giselle, there is more to life than you think. More to my life? Have you forgotten? I still don't know who my real parents are. Or that my foster parents died in an accident. Or that I was raped by my best friend and nearly died of a drug overdose. More to my life? I wish I had died that day, Sylvia. I was like, wait, really? <laughs> 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 I was like, on the edge. Yeah. Like, like, was the next I, part, you know? You know? No. So and, <laughs> and, and, and as you guys come back to the table, uh, you know, I, and, and I had to go, that's it. That's <laughs> it. Because I'm just waiting for more. I can't wait for the production. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, you yes. guys have done a lot of work preparing. I'm sure yes. it's going to be a tremendous success. Yeah, and the name, of, the name of the production is The Last yes. Adam. It's going to be at Queen's, Queen's Hall. Hall. And on the dates uh, the tenth, in April? Yeah, mm -hmm. the 10th Friday, Good Friday, the 10th to the 13th. Right. And at supper on the 18th and 19th. Now, we're going to be having two shows on Good Friday, a martini at 2 p.m. Right. and uh, the regular show at 6 p.m. Right. And we are also, most importantly, we are having a gala mm -hmm. on the Saturday, the 11th, uh, where, the ben where the, the part proceeds of uh, what funds that we raise on that night will go towards the Cancer Society mm -hmm. and is there another cause. Okay. What we are doing is that um, this is a first for us in terms of now reaching more into the community in terms of you know, giving back what we have received yeah. and we want to start to support these organizations okay. with every production that we do. And if persons wanted to find out more information, Give us a few numbers as well as is there yes. social media and yes. so they can go we uh, you can go to our website. You have a, 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 a lot of information. They are www.iamproductionstt.com. That's easy. Yeah. Uh -huh. We are on Facebook. We are on Instagram. We are on LinkedIn, and we are on Twitter. And all you have to look is for I Am Productions. Yes, just and look all for of I Am these. Yeah. So I Am Productions. I think that's easier than giving all the numbers yes. because then you can just go online and yes. get it. I Am Productions tt.com and I am productions on all the social media handles but yes. just for those who are not online because mm -hmm. I'm sure there are some people who yes. are saying but I yes. want to have social yes. media yes. give yes. us one number what's the best number for them uh, to call 280-3279 280-3279 and that number is up on the screen 280-3279 I want to thank you very much Earl Baco manager of I am productions uh, Kersha Garner and Monique Sipio, both, act, both of you are actors. You know, in the US, they say, I don't call them actresses, they're actors. What do you guys prefer? <laughs> actors. 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 See? <laughs> All right. So, actors in production alongside yes. 78 other actors yes. on stage. Yes. And I know it's going to be a tremendous success. Yes. Thank okay. You. The one last thing mm -hmm. I would like to leave before we go, I would like to say that, you know, we at I Am Productions believe that entertainment is good. Yes. But enlightenment is better. Oh. 
and both you get right here. You get right on the Mom Morning Show. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna take in a few messages and come right back here on the Mom Morning Show. We still have a wonderful show left for you. This fantastic, fabulous, fantastic is the word I like to use. Friday, so stay with us. <laughs>